So this morning, I posted a video of a waitress who won $300,000 on a scratch-off ticket. I didn't realize that she actually um, was supposed to split that winnings with another waitress, but instead she skipped town and took all the money for herself. Imagine how messed up that is, and it really uh, gets into the details of the story, and I'll try to just give you the highlights of it. So apparently... Um, the boss uh, who owns the restaurant where the waitress work at, every holiday season he buys scratch-off tickets and gives, you know, a bunch to each of the girls on, on, on their shifts. So the winning ticket was, um, was given to, like, these two waitresses because they have the same shift. So every shift, like, each, waitre each pair of waitresses gets like five tickets and they scratch them off and if they win anything, they split it. So the two waitresses um, you know, scratch off the ticket and then they saw it was $300,000. So they were trying to look to see if it was like a prank ticket and they couldn't find out. They couldn't see find that so they realized it was the real deal and they were like anyone else talking about how their life is going to change and... Um, all these great things they can finally do. And these two were best friends for over 10 years. So it's not like um, they didn't know each other or anything like that. And the, and the, the woman who skipped town, Mandy Van Houten, she actually um, got the job because of the girl she screwed over got her the job like she vouched for her told her her boss oh we should hire this girl mandy and the boss did and the woman who got screwed over she let mandy stay at her apartment because you know it was too far for mandy to drive to work and back so she really got screwed over in, in so many ways And nobody and, and Mandy's not picking up her phone. Nobody can get in contact with her. So she's just gone. And, you know, that's a messed up story. I mean, money does separate people. Um, but that's got to suck. You know, you're a waitress, so you probably live in paycheck to paycheck. And you get your big break, and it's taken away from you. It'd be so much better not to win anything than to have the money right in front of you and then it goes away. You don't get it. That's That's got to be a nightmare. So I'm sure she's going to try to sue her. But the uh, twist is Mandy is the only person who signed the back of the ticket. So it might be hard for... Um, um, Underwood, I think that's her, the name of the woman who got screwed over. It's going to be hard for her to prove. And they were planning on going together to the lottery office in the new year to claim the ticket. So I guess Mandy took the ticket home and said, oh, you know, we'll, uh, in the new year, we'll, we'll uh, you know, We'll claim it. I'll I'll keep it safe in my house or wherever. Don't worry about that. And then that's the last time anybody saw Mandy. So she was just gone, and she showed up in the uh, the news in with the big um, check in her hand. So um, really messed up. You know what some people do. Leave a comment. Let me know if you know any other messed up stories with money. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching.